Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic and today I'm going to be playing through Arena 4 with my Edward team. So, I have Cotton with a Fall Attack and a Distal for extra shields. Yuna's got Indra for shielding. Odin Dragon is Green Odin. Uranus is Dark Athena for a quick charging delay. And Friend Edward has Yogg and mine has Sheen. So, this dungeon should definitely be doable with Edward, barring like terrible RNG or just player skill issue. And... The reason why I'm using Uranus is because I need a triple seven combo card to help punch through all these really high defense cards. So you either need a triple seven combo card or guard break. I don't have guard break accessible, so I'm using triple seven and Uranus is dark, so it covers that color. Ideal would be the ideal choice, but unfortunately I do not own her. Dead. Green, blue, yellow, red. Wait, did I not match any of those orbs at the bottom? I feel like that's a silly thing to do. Okay. I don't care what my leader swap is because it should not be. Oops, I forgot to look at this. Spinners are gone, Nightmare is over. <clears throat> okay, good. So I totally was doing that to stall. So like I'm thinking like Diablos and Nubis would be actually another good team to run here because I noticed that there is a nine you need to make nine plus combos on Arichi. And that's not very doable on 6x5 for the most part. Like, a given board generally doesn't have that much um, combos available. So I can see it becoming a little bit of a problem. Okay, that's not how you cascade. It's okay. I'll just say I'm warming up. Like, compared to Alt Arena, things have significantly less health and um, generally not as much destructive... Um, hits overall. I realize I don't have enough health to tank it, so what I'm going to do is I am going to pop Odin Dragon, and that will enable me to um, heal up, which will mean I can kill it and then trigger Resolve, and then I can keep doing this over and over again until I feel like I'm safe to proceed. Killing it, triggering resolve, and back up again. Like, I guess putting him at the beginning is nice in a way, because then you are at least able to stall for what you need. I should look to see what's coming up. But yeah, this dungeon does not feature any like outrageously high preemptives compared to like Alterina, so it's definitely more manageable overall. I can feel that already. As soon as the Odin Dragon's close, five turns, I'll give it another turn. I don't think I need him anytime soon. I feel like the answer is no, I don't, but it doesn't hurt to try. You know what? I'm going to go kill it now. So Uranus with his triple seven combo does like amazing amounts of damage. So that's 
So I have my Dark Athena delay it if I need it. Another Resolve, which is okay. Again, I can easily deal with this. Follow-up attack has become instrumental. Don't connect the... This thing has, like, no health, so even though I didn't make that many combos, it's still gonna die. Boop. Okay, now this is where the fun begins. Who? The fun. So, my Awoken skills are disabled. My leaders are bound. Odin Dragon's not ready. This is clearly a bad job in planning on my part. So what do you do? I should hasten myself up because this looks like a bad thing actually overall. So I will unbind myself after this. Because it looks like he's going to obliterate my hopes and dreams, so this is bad. So mental note, make sure Odin Dragon's ready for this floor if I do this again, which I will at some point. Okay, green's going to cascade down to the bottom. Alright, so... Oh, wow. He's got that much defense? How much health? Holy crap. I did not expect that. Okay, did not expect that. That is... Oh, it's 50 million health. Okay, wow. Alright, so... 10 million defense. I can easily punch through this with light combos. Because light versus dark. I am super effective. I'm totally going to do that. Okay, so this should definitely punch through. So I've realized that I need two dark combos for Uranus to kill any of those spawns within one go. Oh, here comes clouds. I don't like clouds. I really don't like clouds. So I'm gonna just... Try not to match hard orbs. This is probably gonna kill it, isn't it? Yep. So... Hmm. I have clouds, I have less recovery. I'm fighting something that doesn't look friendly. Yep. Yep. Okay, wow. Oh boy. I can't delay it. I think I'm just gonna yog it out. So I yogged it out, back to full health, got rid of all the nonsense there. Okay, so there's a combo shield here, but she doesn't destroy my hopes and dreams, so I'm okay. So I'm going to let her hit me a bit more, because I just want to get rid of these clouds. Like, if I kill her, great. If I don't, well, that's fine. Okay, no problem. Very dead Hera. There's no point in dancing there, I feel. What do these do? Find the jammers. Okay, three at the top. That was nice. Okay, wow. Oh, what? No! I, why'd I leave two? What am I doing? <laughs> Why did I break up the combo at the top? I don't understand. Okay, let's figure this out. So, the next floor has a chance to take away the po two poison orbs. I don't want them to get locked. Because if they get locked, I'm just going to have a really bad time. 
Uh, Kepri can t take them away. Raziel can as well. Okay, so if I kill this normally, I will be fine. Okay. Off to the next floor. So hopefully it's one of those spawns that I mentioned. What is this? That's not a possible... I have no idea what this thing does. Oh boy. I have no idea what this does. There's not on pad X. Oh boy. Hmm. 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 So, this is pretty awkward. Okay. We're gonna pretend I know what it does. Which means I can just kill it normally. Right? I hope it doesn't have, like, crazy amounts of health. Oh, you're mad. Oh, boy. Okay. We will get rid of this hazard at some point. So she's quite tanky, it looks like, because I couldn't kill her from full. This will definitely kill her right now. Okay, so the next one is a chance for the Jewel of Creation to spawn me... Um, carbs over the poisons. Wow, two jewels of creation. Holy jumping. That's what you don't want to see. <sighs> okay. That Edwards and Ten that's never coming out. I have Sheen. I feel like I need to delay these things because this is not working. I need to take the time to get a board that works. So I want to find dark orbs to spawn. I mean, I'm trying to save dark orbs so I don't actually. I can use Uranus to punch through hard enough. I have two sets of dark combos. Okay, this thing is clearly too strong for me. will be problematic if I don't. This should kill it. It definitely kills it now. Okay, I got so many Skyfalls now, of course. Like, I didn't even need the Sheen. Holy jumping. Okay, let's do 131 million. No big deal. No big deal. Okay, this is not what I wanted to see because that poison node is preventing combos. But I have to try. Yeah, this is not a very good part. One more. Nope. Yuna and Uranus, I can get rid of that poison. Oh, but Uranus is just Skyfall, right? Oh, shoot. Shoot. And that's a board that I don't want to see either. Just 
Jeez. I had it and I messed it up. Okay. Okay. Back to the drawing board. So um, eight combos here. Will it give me a knife? This is where seven by six would have been helpful. Okay, we're through. I'm not dead. That's for sure. I had no idea when she would start executing me. Actually, in hindsight, maybe I didn't need Yuna. So a four combo. I should be able to kill this actually in a couple of turns because I have killers, and that's what I was afraid of. Um, that poison orb getting locked. And I'll never be able to get rid of it. Stop. This should kill it. Five maybe is the sweet spot. No, I guess yellow is too hard. Five is too hard if I make yellow. That's five only. Oh, it's six. Shoot, shoot, seven. That's too many. It's okay. As long as I kill it before it expires, like the absorb disappears, I'll be fine. That's four, five. I mean, four combos, I mean. Combos. Oh my goodness, this game is so bad. I have distal if I really need it. Okay, this is getting down to the wire a bit, and I don't like that. Okay, 50% reduction. That means I can make a little more combos, technically. I'm still going to go for my regular amount. Okay, we're safe. I stalled. That was what I was trying to do. Be gentle. No, I want to be forceful, but I don't really want to be, actually. Okay, I'm going to blob my combos. So I don't accidentally trigger her resolve. And try not to match hearts. Stop. There's enough hearts to do what I need to do. She does not have very much health, which is good. Oh, that blue is too far away from each other. It's okay. There's enough combos anyways. There's the follow-up attack, and it kills the resolve. Excellent. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, so big time debuff. Let's do a little bit of combos, not too many. He only has five million health. I should be able to deal with that easily. Will this do enough damage? I'm just curious. Okay, so. Clearly enough combos. What's next? Let's find out. That's inconsiderate. I feel like I don't want him to hit me. That's like the general rule in pad, I feel. Things should not be hitting you. Because it hurts. I need a six combo board. Apparently I can take six combos and kill things still. Okay. So. Hmm. This is where things could get dicey, I feel. Hmm. Right. Hmm. 
Three draws for your team. I'm just double checking what, how dangerous things are becoming. Uh, I feel like I can pop cotton them. I'll pop cotton for the shield to make sure I don't actually. What? Oh shit, no! It wasn't. <gasps> my skills got delayed. It wasn't actually distal. Oh my goodness, I wasted that. Well, that's awkward, if this doesn't kill it. One of them did. Wow, Cotton did enough. Okay, well, that technically avoids the problem I was going to have of not being able to survive these hits. Like, it technically solved the problem, but not very well. Still above half, it's okay. I guess I'm gonna try and stall back for cotton. That's a silly idea. So it wasn't above half actually, that's why. Above half, I did kill it. I did waste the distal slash cotton, which is unfortunate. I guess maybe not necessarily wasted, because it did make me water orbs, which did allow cotton to punch through one of them. More time debuffs, because we all love this mechanic. Oops, I didn't make seven. As long as I make seven, things die, because that's a god. In my um, god killing galore. Okay. So. Hmm. Uranus is in four. That's a Yogg board. I don't want that yet. I feel like if I pop. Eight locked poison orbs? Wow. That's pretty terrifying. And not enough heal orbs. I'm gonna pop Edward and deal with it. This should kill her anyways. And I will stay above half health even without a heal skyfall because I have Odin Dragon with the auto healing green Odin inherit. I'm not looking forward to this. So, no hard orbs can ever fall down for the next X number of turns. That's not a good scenario to be in. So basically whatever hard orbs I have, I need to use them. I'm basically at the end of the dungeon, actually, so if I can get through this floor and then the next one, I should be able to deal with the final Skulls or Norns because I have a delay in hand still. Okay. Basically, no green will ever fall down, so I should have matched the green away in hindsight. Like, I should have matched the green because then I wouldn't have to deal with that one kind of quote-unquote dead orb. Alright, so... I'm not getting hard orbs, I just remembered. Okay, still above half. So it means I don't have to use an active yet. It really does not make much difference how much I combo here, really, because no hearts can fall down. So I found my delay. Hmm. What 
does cotton do? I forget. Skills. Gotta double check what cotton does. Fire to heal. That's a good active to use now. So cotton is helping now. Full health. I've avoided all of the unpleasant trees. Okay. Aside from the obviously the absorbs. It's okay. We're just waiting this out. Okay, So I still am okay. I'm still surviving. Okay, never mind. We're punching through. Oh yeah, red. Sub attributes. Nice. Okay, what do you do? You do that apparently. Oh boy. So my friend has messaged me saying I get the dark one all the time. Apparently I'm gonna get it too now. This is not good. Yeah, this is not good. Because I'm missing a combo, but I have no choice. Like, there's no choice. I have to do this. Or wait, I made five connected blue. I could have done it properly. It's okay, I'm not dead. Clearly I'm doing this well. Okay. What's your execution zone? So if I kill this floor, I'll be fine, because then I can go on to the next one of most of my actives. How much health do you have? Your execution's at what point? Nine percent health. Okay. So against the Skulls, I haven't gone here obviously, um, they are delayable at some point. Actually, all points that are available. But I can delay them as provided they're not below half health, I think. I think. So basically what I'm going to be basically doing is saving up my Yogg board with the Edward, well Edward first then Yogg to ensure I can one-shot it. Okay, so let us not kill her in one go because she is voiding for 10 million. Well, I can tickle her down a bit. It's okay to tickle. The lock does get avoided out, but it's okay. What'd you drop? Why'd you drop bombs? What a silly girl. Remember, if things get bad, I can always delay ground. 
So it's three turns more on the void. Just try not to match hard orbs at this point, because don't need to. Okay, you're just dropping bombs all the time, girl, okay. Trying to save orbs. Okay, young girl. Okay. So, you're at what? A third of your health is gone? A third of two... It's 160 million left? I should be able to burst high enough with Yogg. Well, Edward plus Yogg. That should be doable. So this... That... What was that nonsense? Okay, I'm terrible at this game. Well, I got rid of the resolve. <laughs> okay, so apparently Yogg plus that is a bad idea because I have so many off-color cards, so that was not the smartest thing to do. Like, that really was not a smart thing to do. Okay. I'm gonna injure shield, because why not? Because I feel like this thing might hit hard. And I don't want to have a surprise disaster at the end. So, this is clearly a bad example of what to do in this dungeon, but... It was able to get through it. I feel like playing 7x6 would make this a lot easier, because those big combo absorbs... Sorry, the combo absorbs of, like... The eights, well, you need to hit nine combos and six by five is really dicey, to be fair. So, hopefully, this video provides you, like, I guess, some idea and clarity as to what this dungeon may hold in store. It gives a good amount of experience. Wow. Good amount of gold, too. And let's see the drops. Jewel of Creation. Not bad. I think people want Diamond Dragon Fruits more. I like the Snow Globe at the end, though, actually. I have 16 of those. Okay, so hopefully you all have a fantastic day. I wish you all the best of luck in your own pad adventures, and happy puzzling.